Hey, Agile Lotto here. I'm back with another episode of Insane Mode Until I Lose on Auto Ball Chess. Let's get right into it. I'll play at most four games, even if I don't uh, lose, because at that point I won't have any tokens left, and there's not much point in playing. So, on this first round, I've started with Minerva and Diego here. Not the best start in terms of damage, but we have got a second Jigo on offer, so I'm going to lock him in and hope we win this round. He will be quite lucky to win this round. Going up against Todd and Robin. Slightly higher level than us, but we might have a chance thanks to... Oh no, okay, we've not got a chance. I take that back. A loss on the first round, not too bad. We can still we can still bring this back without too much trouble. Let's get Robin. Probably a temporary pick, but I'm going to lock this in because we've got both Jago and Minerva for two star heroes. Now who are we going up against now? Artist with 3000 might, a lot higher than us. Also got a Robin. And a Helsing. Yeah, that's not great. Already at 44 points with only two losses. We can get Diego and Minerva, two stars. I'll put Maximus and Maximus sorry, up instead of Robin, who I'm going to get rid of. Because I don't think he'll ever be very useful in terms of factions. But here we go into the third game with someone who's finally actually got a might lower than ours. And it's looking quite close, though Noble's dead now, and everybody's focusing on Sharissa, who's managed to kill Minerva, but we still got the win, and we're no longer in 6th place. We can actually get 2 star Maximus, and we can temporarily, I mean not temporarily, we can put um, Marilyn, sorry, on the bench right now, and maybe even Titania. Next round we'll get a 4th spot, probably put Titania on unless I find something better. Here we go against X Kanojo, who's got 4 heroes, we probably should have got the 4th hero there, we were the only person in the battle without the 4th hero, but we still won, thanks to our extra synergies. Can get that extra spot, Titania's going on the board. I'm going to get Diego just in case I find another one. I was tempted at the beginning of this game to try out a very tanky build, but unluckily I haven't found any guardians so far. I have got one plant in in uh, Diego, but yeah. It might not. We might it not. Might sorry. It might not work out to try and go for a tanky build. Why is it stopping? Game. Hello. Game. What is going on? The game has stopped. We have still got internet connection, but the game decided it didn't want to work. Anyway, we've got 14 points, I suppose. Got defeated. Um, I don't quite, I didn't quite get what happened there. And we can put Ratatoska in to get a first beast synergy, 20% extra attack. We're in third place. We need to get first place for me to continue. So that's not good enough. And we're going up against Artis, who is the first, current first place. Who's got Ramses. A good undead team, I suppose. And it looks like it's going to be close, but I think we're going to lose, yeah. I feel alone, and you are dead. Here we go, we can get Cleo. Cleo, I might, I might go for a lot of mages. That could be a good build to go for. Mage is always strong. And in fact, that's what I'm going to do next round. I'll talk to you more about it in a minute. But I'm going to try a particular build next round. If I win this one, of course. Uh, 
and did and Cleo managed to actually close that. I thought we were, I thought we were going to lose, but no, that's quite quite impressive. Now I'm going to get Azrael. Azrael can replace Ratatoska, and we can use that Slayer synergy for an extra 250% damage, 25% of the time. We're starting to get some good damage piling up. I suppose we could try and get some tribal um, points. Get that extra Maximus just in case. Sorry about the menu, I forgot to take that down. And we've won this one. Second place. Um, let's just flick through. You can get Thanatos. Thanatos rather than Azrael. We can also, thanks that we could also get the, the demon. Demon synergy. Extra life stealing from damage dealt. This God of Forge has actually got more might than us. So it might be hard to win. See what Thanatos can do here with his cloning ability. This guy's also got a very tanky team. And it's going to be close. But I think... No, maybe not. Thanatos might... Yes. Thanatos is actually going to clutch this for us. Unless it's a draw. Which it actually probably is going to be. Yeah. It's a draw. That's not a problem. Now I'm going to sell Ratatoska for Taurus. Which I can put on the board rather than Minerva. I suppose I'd do something like that. Looks quite good. Despite all the synergies we've got, it seems like we were struggling a little bit on the last round. This looks like a win. This looks like a win. Yep. Yuki's dead, and that's a win. So plus 8 coins, we can get the extra Diego, that's always useful, extra Taurus, obviously, and an extra Sadaku for 4 mages, which gives us an extra 17 energy per second. That's starting to get quite strong, we're going to, have, we're going to activate the abilities of the heroes very quickly. No. And look at the way we destroyed Artus right there. He is in fifth place, but even even so, it was still a good win. And get a sixth spot on the board. He wants us to put Minerva back in. I guess that's all right. But I can also buy Ali to get a tribal bonus. I'll do that. I might not keep him, but I will see how it goes. Oh, I could have got Jaxi. Actually, I should have got got an uh, Jaxi right now. I mean to do that, because Jaxi also brings in the Guardian synergy for extra armor. That was almost a mistake. Yeah, here we are. Here we are with that extra Maximus. I need to get rid of, get another Maximus or something so I can Use up that last spot of the board more efficiently. Right now it's not great. Could get Lico rather than... No, I'm just going to leave it as it is. If we win, we'll have enough points to get the seventh spot on the board anyway. And X Kanojo looks like he's going to get defeated. There we go. Get Sudoku on. We might actually want to get rather than Sudoku. So I'll sell Maximus. I'm not really that bothered. I'll get Imar. Imar can go in right here. And now I've got plenty of room on the bench to buy some new heroes that can complete loads of synergies. Imar's looking good, freezing all the enemies very quickly. Bruno's, but Bruno's very tanky. You're with fire.
I could get near wheel. I could also get Tengus. I could get both, actually. It's hard to decide. As always, you know, Tengus wants to go in instead of Minerva, that's fine, I'll get near wheel. Doesn't really matter. I could have put Neo in, as I think. I think that's what the game's telling me. My flame is hotter than yours. You know, minus 13 for him, for them. And let's put Neo in. Neo has gone into the VMR. I guess that's alright. Put Maximus back on the front. Like that. That looks good. No. We could get those with Titania, but I doubt Titania will ever actually go on the board, so it's probably a waste of coins. And well, that Sadako is not a waste of coins, since if I get her, it will bring in the sixth le the third level, sorry, of, of Mage Synergy, which is the best you can get, 27 extra energy per second. Here we go. Emar's back in, Sadako on the bench. Put Emar back on the front to tank the damage. And here we've got 6 out of 6 mages, 27 extra energy per second. And we're going to see Thanatos absolutely crazily clone himself all across the board. We get one clone, two clones, three clones, I can't even count them right now. First place anyway from the first game, so let's get straight into the second game. Though I haven't got any tokens left. So let's go into the second game. I'm going to try out a very um a, a build that I found out recently that Live Gaming presented in one of his, his videos, which is to wait until round eight without spending any coins and saving them all so you get loads by round eight. And then you buy three spots on the on the board and you start rolling through all the choices and, to, and buying all the mages. So I'm going to get to that on round 8. For now I'll just, I'll just um, skip through. So see you in a minute. Hey I'm back. So here we are back on round 7 and I just wanted to mention that I've just made a video about this strategy and it's, I think it's in episode uh, 11 of my Road to King series. So you can go and watch that. Anyway, now we're on round 8, so we're going to buy 1, 2, 3 positions, and now we're going to skip through as many places as possible to get as many mages. We have to do it fast because we haven't actually got that much time. So here we go. 2, we're not that lucky. Another one, 3. We need to get at least 4 for it to be mildly viable. Let's get them on the board. And Cleo, Cleo's good. So there, let's move them around. I didn't have time to move Cleo. It's alright. Let's see. Another Marilyn, another Minerva, and a last Minerva. Okay. Here we are, we've already 7,000 points, way ahead of Jelly. I don't know if this strategy is actually going to work in insane mode, but we'll just have to see. Wait, let's move it around a bit, just to make sure we've got the best situation. And what I would like to have the best is Imar, because Imar is extremely good at tanking damage and is the only is the only hero that's melee in the major faction. Let's see how we do against Kane's Prophet. Not looking too bad though, they've got Emo and they're doing quite a lot of damage with him. Cleo just took him out but I don't think it's going to be enough as Conrad's going to take her out. There we go. Okay. Not yet got the best of teams, but I am looking for Imar and Zeus right now. No look so far. This might not actually work out. I think we've only got one more loss um, that we can suffer since we're, we've only got 10 points left, 10 HP left. And, but this is looking like it's going to be a win. We've still got most of our heroes alive. And 
And that's great. Okay. I don't know if this, this is actually the best method to use in uh, insane mode, but there's no harm in trying it out. I don't know if I want to get rid of this Marilyn. I think I will actually, because if we lose this next game, that's it, really. We don't have any second chances. It is a very risky method. And it probably tends to work in, in uh, ranked better because there's no... The bench isn't as useful in ranked. And we are going to lose here. And I hope we're not going to lose more than 10. 8. We've only got 2 points left, so we can't afford to lose any more. And we have got Imahi, but I don't really want to sell anyone. I could sell, I guess I just sell Minerva. Get Imar. Hopefully that can help us. I don't know if it will be enough to avoid a defeat. And if we do lose, then sadly enough it's going to be the end of this video. But at least we tried... You know, at least we tried something. This isn't looking great. And... Oh dear. That's... We're out. I'm very sorry about that. We weren't that lucky in picking our mages. And... Yeah, I will see you next time in the next episode of Insane Mode Until I Lose. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Ciao.